In this video, I'm going to show you how to create 5x5 five five bingo cards, which you can uh, create using something called Bingo Card Printer, which you can download from bingocardprinter.com. Uh, the program is a Windows program compatible with all recent versions of Windows on the PC. This is what the initial screen looks like. I click uh, Create New Bingo Card Project. Uh, I now um, can create my bingo cards. I can use one of the existing templates like alphabet, numbers, standard US bingo cards. Um, there's also uh, school subjects like English, geography, math. Uh, languages. Um, there's events which I'll just show you: uh, baby shower, birthday, bridal shower, and so forth. Uh, holidays, uh, lots of different holidays here: Fourth of July, Canada Day, Chinese New Year, Christmas, and so forth. So we'll start with a blank one though, so I can show you how the software works. I either um, double click on it or click on it once and then click uh, OK. So I double clicked on it. Uh, there's my blank bingo card. Um, it's 5x5. Five five. I could change the size to make a 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, up to 7x7. Seven seven. We'll stick with 5x5. Five five. Uh, I can also choose whether or not to have the heading on the bingo card. I can change the text if I want. And I can change the uh, free space, whether or not to have that central free space square, and again, the text in there. Uh, I now can enter my words, or numbers, or phrases to appear on the bingo card. Um, I'm going to create an educational bingo card for use in a uh, school environment, so I'm going to have words that I want children to be able to recognize by reading them. Uh, I'd need to enter at least 24 or 25 if I turn off the free space words to fill out the bingo card. I could have more, and then it, it would use a subset of those words to fill out the card. So let's put in um, some words, for example, um, and we'll, we'll just type them in uh, ant, bat, cat, dog, Egg. So uh, mostly we'll um, put in easy words that uh, children would uh, learn to read quite soon in their um, youth. Maybe uh, arm, bug, call, dug, end. And we'll put in a, it's about, uh, how many have we got now? 15. Uh, we've missed out. I've got three low to five, yeah, I'll put in um, alphabet would be a good one. Most children know that word, even if it's quite a long word. Um, bird, uh, nap. I'm typing them in this order. You don't have to. I'm just thinking of one beginning with each uh, uh, word. Eel would be another one beginning with E. It's just easier for me. Um, you can type them in any order you like. Um, alligator. And... Um, Let's see, uh, that's the next long word. Bag, clap, uh, dip, maybe, uh, maybe this would end with add. There are 25 words. It's enough to fill out the bingo card without the square. And if we look at this card, the, you'll see the words that I entered here are in the same order as this a word preview, is in the same order as in this list here. Uh, if I change the order in this list, there are functions for moving words up and down and so on. The preview will uh, reflect that. So for example, if I sort it, you'll see all the A's first, B's first, C's first, and so on. But um, when, when I print the bingo cards, the words will be shuffled about randomly differently in every bingo card. I'll turn this option off here, which I'll explain a bit later, and say print preview, and you can see what I mean here. When I print the bingo card, the words are arranged randomly around the card. Um, so if I want to make it so that the first few words always appear in the first column, the second few in the third, and so on, um, what I need to do is check this option here, organize into columns, and it says here, column one, two, three, four, column two, so on. Um, and you'll see, because I've got 25 words, there's five possible words in each one, and so I've got the A's, B's, C's. Um, it's a good idea to make the number of words a multiple of um, the number of columns, if you're going to use this organizing columns. And if I do print preview, you'll see it's uh, the card is still randomized, but it's only randomized within the column. So every column has a different random order, but... Um, the A's are always in the right place, B's are in the right place, and so on. So that's a choice that you've got. You don't have to use that if you don't want. I'll turn it off for now. Okay, I already mentioned you can change your bingo card's uh, size and uh, whether or not to have the heading and the free space. You can also um, change the colours. Uh, so, for example, I'll change the heading colours. Let's make it uh, a yellow background with uh, blue text. I can change the line colours. Let's make some red lines. I can change the square colours here. Um, so I can use different patterns as well. So for example, I can make a checkerboard of white and pink, for example. And if I click OK, there's my colourful bingo card. I could go back and change that. I can change the fonts, and I can change that separately for the heading and the squares and the free space if I want to. 
Uh, but when I'm happy with that, I read would be interested in printing it. So that's where these options come in. First option here is whether or not to print a call list. Um, basically, what that does is it will give you this list of words in random order on a separate sheet. Um, it's very useful if you're using the bingo cards in the classroom situation to have that uh, printed list to refer to. If you don't want it, just uncheck it. I'll turn it on so you can see what it looks like. Second option is how many bingo cards to fit on each page when I print them out. I can put up to uh, four per page. Uh, the advantage is I can save paper if I print several per page. I might have to cut the paper up to give one bingo card per player or per student, uh, and each individual bingo card would be smaller, but there's a, a possible advantage there. I'll leave it in one so you can easily see what's um, going on at the moment. And how many bingo cards do I want to print? Now, the big power of the software is you can produce lots of different bingo cards with very minimal effort. I can put in as many as I need, up to 9,999. So I'm going to put in uh, 100 as my example, and if I do print preview, you'll see what that looks like. First of all, the call list with a list of words in random order. When I click next, you'll see um, the bingo card with the words arranged randomly. And if I click next again, you'll see the next bingo card is different and so on. Every bingo card contains a different random combination of the words. So that's basically creating 5x5 five five, uh, bingo cards. Now I could save the work, continue, uh, and there's also options for um, uh, using the software to help you choose words if you don't want to use a call list. It's called um, play call, call game and it will choose one word at random, show you large here and it will show you the previous items on the left hand side. So when I click next it will choose another random word. So you can see it's choosing words randomly each time I click next and I can always go back and check what items have been chosen before. So that's it. The software is called Bingo Card Printer. The website is bingocardprinter.com. There's a free trial version which you can download and try out for free. If you like it you can register and upgrade to the full version which lets you do everything that you've seen in this video and a lot more besides. Um, and so go check it out, Bingo Card Printer on bingocardprinter.com. Thank you very much.